um, which could be related to some circadian disorder. I'm just kidding. If it's not sinking in, it's probably that I'm not being effective in communicating the information. But get that bright light early in the day from sunlight. And if you can't get it from sunlight, get it from artificial light. What kinds of artificial lights will work? Well, there are these sunlight, sunrise simulators, but the ring lights that people use for um, uh, selfies and this sort of thing uh, for posting on Instagram, those generate a lot of blue light. If you want to get experimental about this, there's a free app. I have no relationship to the app, but it's a great app called Light Meter that you can use your phone and you can measure the amount of photon energy in your environment. And it's kind of a fun experiment to do. You can go outside in the morning and you'll see that there's 10,000, 20,000 lux, even though it might seem like it's kind of dim or there's tree cover or cloud cover. You go inside and you shine that um, the, uh, an artificial light at your phone, press the button on light meter and you'll find that it's only 500 or 1,000 lux. And you realize that even though it seems really bright, the artificial light is very condensed, whereas the outside light is scattered in the atmosphere. And so you can think that you're not getting much sunlight, but you're actually getting much more outside.